Well, you seem to be okay. Am I All right, you guys can fire away. Uh, let's start with Malik coming in again. Uh, what kind of a passer is he? Is he? I, I didn't see a lot of deep balls, and I was looking at some Louisville box scores. Is he more of like an intermediate, short intermediate passer? Yeah, they'll they'll that's that's really observant, Rich. They'll take shots down the field, but um, he's really really efficient. His completion percentage is ridiculous from like fifteen and below. I mean, that's where they seem to have most of their passing game, yeah. and that's where he, that's where his numbers say he's really efficient. Um, so they throw they throw underneath more there, um, but they'll still take their shots down the field and they've hit some. I mean, they're a they're a team that's going to run, 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 and then try to take the top off, and then they got a lot of a lot of routes that hit also, you know, 15 and below where, where his, his completion percentage, I mean, it's really high. So that's why I said yesterday, everybody wants to talk about him. Like he's just this athlete. I mean, look at his completion percentage and the numbers in some of those areas. I mean, they're really good. I mean, he, he's, he's playing quarterback now, you know, Andy, what are you looking to see from Phil this week? I know early in the season you wanted to see him get the ball out quicker. Um, going into this week, is there anything specific you're looking from him? Yeah, I told him. I told him when I, I grabbed him on Monday. I just want him to be himself and um, and be confident and um, get it out quick when it's there. And if not, do what you do. Um, you know, and, and that's something that I think he has done in the past and, and even some this year better than any quarterback in the country. And it's you know he keeps plays alive. He keeps his eyes down the field. And he's got the ability to run too. Um, so I think it's a combination of both. I just want him to be himself and be confident and go play football. Um, and I know it's with some missing pieces, it's, it's been a little bit hard for him too. Um, but I just, I just want him to go be him. I think that's the biggest, the biggest thing I could tell you, Andy. Go to Trevor. I know you don't want to make excuses, but do you feel like it is more injuries this year than the past two years? Or do you feel like it's about on par just statistically speaking? It's season. It's more season-ending injuries than I've ever been a part of, especially at one position. Um, that's the key right there, and into some, some really. And I don't want to downplay that everybody's not crucial, but to some really crucial guys in crucial positions. I mean, I feel like every Saturday since we've started, we've announced that we've lost a player for a year, Trevor. Um, yeah, I think it's been three straight weeks. So. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to sound like I'm making a, a bunch of excuses, but to answer your question, yes. Dan, Coach Brian Brown, uh, is defensive coordinator over at Louisville. Um, I know that he was with Scott Satterfield at uh, at App State, but just what does that defense and what does he bring to the table as a coach and and that defense schematically that's kind of unique to to how they play the game. Yeah, there's a lot of odd spacing. It's a lot of three down stuff. You'll see a guy lined up over the center. They'll do quite a, a lot of movement up front. Um, they're very aggressive. I mean, their they're safeties, I mean, they get down in the box. Uh, like I said, there's going to be some times when it looks like cover zero, um, and which means there's going to be no safeties in the middle of the field. Um, people talk about middle close, middle open. He there's, there's no one in the middle sometimes. He's very aggressive. He gets guys down in the box. They play a lot of man coverage. Um, and they'll mix in some zones. They'll play some three and some Tampa two. But he's really aggressive. Um, and it's, it's a lot different than you see. So, you know, it takes some time in practice to get used to, Dan, if that makes sense. I mean, a lot of your, a lot of your offensive line rules are built on four down fronts. Um, so when you get into some of the odd spacing stuff, there's some nuances that you have to go through. Does that make sense? Yeah, uh, kind of as a follow up to that, when a team doesn't play cover, when a team plays cover zero and doesn't have anybody deep, does that allow you to take more shots downfield, or is that man coverage, you know, that that tight that you you can't get open downfield if they're not going to cover it? Well, on paper, it lo it looks like you should be able to have a, a bunch of shots, but then there's risk reward because then there's there's a lot of pressure, um, so a lot of times you don't have time to push the ball down the field. Um, you know, you got to try to make those teams pay if they do. And making them pay is not necessarily throwing it 50 yards down the field. I mean, there's some catch and run opportunities where if you catch the ball and get vertical, um, there's no one back there to kind of erase any mistakes. Um, but there, but it's an aggressive style of defense where, you know, you, you might have to get rid of the ball quickly at some times. Um, but they mix it in. They'll, they'll put safeties back there. Um, and they'll just run some five-man pressures like everybody else. And like I said, they'll play with two deep safeties and play some Sam Tampa two in certain areas of the field. Um, but I think he does a really good job. I do. Let's go back to Andy. 
feels like you guys have gotten better in pass pro the last couple of weeks, but still not getting the push you guys probably want on the early downs in the run game. What can you attribute that to, and how do you get better in that specific area? I mean, I think I think it's just going to be the continuity that those guys play and play together, and then the more experience that they get. Um, that's a that's a unit that has to be really synchronized, and you know, even with Ozzy going back in, it's for the 26, 27 plays. It's now Ozzy's in, then Ozzy's out, then this guy's a guard, then this guy's out. So I just think one the experience for the young guys, um, you know, who are in there that haven't played. I mean, you got to remember too, Drew Kendall. I think Drew's a really good player, and I think Drew had a really good game. I mean, this is this is Drew's fourth game. I mean, he, he's played four games, so he hasn't hasn't played a whole lot of football. I mean, Nick Thomas hasn't played a whole lot of football. Finn, I mean, I love Finn. And Finn's a tough guy. He's been playing well. Finn's played four games, so you combine the lack of experience, and I think they're getting better, which you saw. And I think they're starting to work together better. Even in the run game last week against a defense that I thought was probably the best defense that we played, we still ran the ball at times better, Andy, than we did prior to those games. So there is improvement. Um, and I'm hoping and praying that those guys can stay healthy and stay on the field so there's not another new guy and we continue to get them better, if that makes any sense to you. Trevor? Just curious about the tight ends. Um, I mean, they've had some great games and they've had some not so good ones in terms of pass catching, but I'm sure you're pleased with the blocking overall. Just how important are they to the offense, what you're trying to do, and how do you get them more involved? They're really important. I mean, they're huge in the run game. Um, and they've had some good good moments and they've had some not so good moments. Um, I think George is playing really well. And I think he needs to continue to. You know, I'm sure there's times when he wishes he has eight to nine catches every single game. But, you know, sometimes it's what the defense takes away. And sometimes it's just you know, maybe the quarterback doesn't have time to get him the ball. So there's a lot of things that get involved. Um, but I'd like to keep getting Spence and Hans and those guys better and better. Uh, Charlie's been hurt. Um, so hopefully eventually he'll come back. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's an integral part of the run game. It's an integral part of the pass protection game. And then certainly in the, in the routes that we run. So I think tight end is one position that gets unnoticed for a lot because I don't know for what reason, but, they're really involved in every aspect of the game. All right, Dan, we'll take our last question. Um, separately, and uh, kind of building off of that from Trevor, the, the 12 personnel, I know you said how much you've, you've liked it, just from formationally play selection. How does that kind of vary, you know, what you can do with the tight ends, the running back, even with Phil and the, and the wide receivers? Like, what is it about it that, that allows you to, to attack defense and get those tight ends uh, available? Why do I like playing with 12 personnel? Yeah, like what is it about the 12 personnel and those formations and, and stuff like that that allows well, you to it, utilize these guys? If you get an athletic tight end um, that can flex out and play in the box, one, you usually get a Sam linebacker on the field instead of a DB, right? Um, and then two, you, you create an extra gap. If you have two tight end sets, obviously you bring another person in, you create more gaps in the run game. Um, and then all of a sudden you can line up in 12 pictures. You can line up in what looks like two backs or you can line up and look like spread looks if George spreads out. So there's a lot more things you can do than if you line up with. Either and put him with his hand down on the ground to create a three man surface on both sides to create an extra D gap. Um, you can just really create a lot more and put more stress on the defense formationally because you can do more out of 12 personnel than you can out of 11 personnel formationally. And I'm, I hope that makes sense. Uh, it does. You're, you're kind of being my football shaman right now of, the, of, of teaching me this stuff. So I appreciate it. Yeah. Trevor, do you had a hand, your hand up. I can answer one more before I head out. You... Uh, no, I think I just didn't put it down. I'm good. All right, guys. I'll see you. Um, I'll see you at the game. I appreciate it. Thanks everybody. Just